Hello, 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 hello. How you all doing? Why is my budget guess acting weird? Ah, it's good enough. Good enough for me. Good enough for Badger. Anyways, tonight... Tonight... We first of all hoping that our computer won't die. That's an A. We need some digital monsters to save the computer. Uh, B. Last time we... saw... Screen size is not right. What do you mean screen size is not right? One second. Screen size is perfect. Just like you are, mod. <laughs> so yeah, last time we saw what kinds of um, S words some of our characters are. Spoiler warning, very. They saw the mummy milkers and then they forgot their personalities. Anyways, next, 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 so now we are trying to show Kaito that he is the, in the right and the rest are, um, it rhymes with the Klimps, Klints, Kants, yes, our friends are Kants, yeah, uh, let's see, a suspicious thicket, it's a thicket and it's very suspicious. Takuma, Takuma, I found something. Oh, thanks, Sagumon. Hey, why don't you ever find anything? What? I have my hand. I have my hands full looking for Miu. Go find stuff like that on your own. I mean, he's not wrong. Hey, watch your mouth. Friendship. Okay, Haru, what do you have to add? Are you okay, sis? You are not too tired? Okay. Alright. If it starts to get too hard, let me know. I shall not do it. That's what she said. They are siblings and... You know... They're underage. So just say... I, I'll say that I'm taking the higher ground. Okay. It must have been tough for them going up the mountain. I'll need to be ready to help too. And they are, go yes, of course, they are ghosts. But I don't think that telling this what she said jokes about ghosts is actually offensive to ghosts. Oh, let me look too. Hey, we are not out here for the fun of it. Try to stay alert. Oh, relax, Shuji. We are practically here. There, what's the harm in having a little fun? But, but... All in favor of throwing uh, Shuji off the train, raise your hands. Disaster could strike at any moment. We must remain vigilant. Oh, you're so strict. Don't you get tired being on high alert all the time? Thank you, Mod. I I hate heights. <laughs> it's all right, everyone. We are almost there. When we get to the tower, our cell phones should work. Then we can call for help. And this whole wilderness survival nightmare will finally be over. Yes, yeah, soon it will all be over. The radio tower is up and running, isn't it? So why didn't you stick around there? Why indeed? <laughs> what, what do you do? If you want something done right, I suppose you must do it yourself. Uh, did you just... You know, I really am very grateful to all of you. I feel like I should thank you. Uh, don't mention it. Honestly, I'm not even sure why you would feel that way. Why? Because even if that one little brat got away, now you're all here instead. And there are so many of you. I can't take you enough. What's gotten into you? I don't get it. <laughs> don't worry. I'll be sure to get your other little friend too. What are you talking about? 
Mummy? He's still going mummy, the fucking idiot. Some characters weren't bullied and it shows. Otto, I suppose this is the end of the line for you. The mummy milkers, they were a lie. Look, is everyone okay? What happened? I hit my head. It seems like nobody has any major injuries. Uh, is it just me or does something seem wrong? The car. It's not moving. Huh? That woman. She's gone. What? Seriously? Yeah. Rio, b -b 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 behind you. What? The mummy milkers were a lie. <laughs> Whoa! A spider? Again? What is that thing? A demon? A demon spider woman? Oh no 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 It's huge! That's what she said! It's okay to say it because the spider is technically an older woman. Wait, what happened to that woman? Not very bright, are you? Oh, was my disguise just that good? Don't you know better than to trust a stranger? She's smiling. So creepy! I'm a Rukenimon, but don't worry, you don't need to remember my name for long, because you're all about to die. Yes, I will offer up everyone in this box as sacrifices. Oh no, what are we gonna do, Shuji? This is why I didn't want to go exploring! Uh, I'm scared! No, no, mommy! Rio has a spider king? Question mark? That's not... That's not my mommy. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Rio, Step away from the spider lady. Mommy is not here. Oh, Miyuki, what is it? Hmm? It's something wrong. What are you looking at, Miyuki? Looks like a cable car. It's, it's stopped part way up. Looks like everyone is stuck inside. Wait, so this was all the woman's plan? Huh. I knew she was a monster. What did I tell you? What's going to happen to them? We need to get over there and save them. Right, let's go! Count me in. I'm gonna smash that monster woman's face in. Come on, Drakmon. You got it. So, I guess this is where Kunemon digivolves, or Drakmon digivolves? You're the reason this whole world is falling apart, but by sacrificing human children, we can prevent its destruction, we will be saved. I thought all might be lost when that little girl with the head got away, but now I can offer up all of you instead! So wait, this is that woman? 
a sneak attack, huh? What a coward. Technically, we are sneak attacking the sneak attackers, so does it make us double cowards? Takuma, get ready for some action. We're gonna storm this giant bug and save everyone. Right. Let's do this, Agumon. Yeah! Oh, I kinda hoped we would- oh yeah, we will fight on the... What's it called? Spider webs. Hmm, I wonder what this ball thing is. Yep. A little help here. What a pain. Hold your horses. We're coming to help. I'm closest, so guess I'm a first. Let, let me at them. Oh, he can digivolve already? Oh shit, he can digivolve already. This is, this is actually kind of cool. Also, one of my favorite Digimon, Sanglupmon, half wolf, half... Uh, what's it called? Half vampire. Hey, mom, how you doing? Can you reach? You can't reach. Can you talk to any of the spiders? No. Also, let's go for a Tyrannomon. I think I should have enough meat to keep them uh, evolved for longer. Can you reach? No. Can you reach? No. Nobody can reach. You'll be fine, 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 you're fine. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I don't know, is this ball good or evil? I really love that Kaito already has a Digivolt Digimon. It really makes things slightly easier. Can you reach? Yep, one spider down. Can you reach anything? No. Okay, so far so good. I love how powerful those cobwebs are. You know, keeping a wolf and a dinosaur on it without falling apart. Nature is amazing. Can you kill? Uh, so close. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. 
Please kill. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. You can regenerate health. That's actually a cool ability. You can call Numemon bait. This little fellow will be our bait for tonight. Uh, I don't think it will do too much damage. Oh, but... Okay, that's actually kind of nice. Reach them? No. Okay, take an item. I guess this is where we found so much meat. So we could keep our digivol digivolutions for longer. That's kind of clever. What did we get? Venom trap. Mm. Okay. Come on, cheap damage, cheap damage. <laughs> Hmm, still can't reach. Okay. Ooh, that's that's not nice. That's not nice at all. But again, Numemon is the bait. So even if it goes down, it's not a big loss. Oh! Okay, you're fine. You're fine. You're still fine. Please kill. Thank you. And another kill. Simple. Well, no memon is going down. Poor fella, but he did his best. Some more meat. And defend yourself. Oh, wait, you can't defend yourself. Oh, well.
Oof. Go here. Okay, I want to kill, so... Uh, uh, maybe I should have done some damage. Oh well. We will manage. And Agumon kills, Agumon kills. GG little dinosaur. Wait, does it mean we really still friends? I thought I was done for. Thanks for the save. And they disappeared. Falcomon is in. Labramon is in. And another spider is in. Can we have more of our friends? Now then, time for a little payback. Yeah, where is your Digimon, Saki? Huh? Can I evolve again? Oh, yes, I can evolve again. Ah, huh. so I can evolve and digivolve in the middle of the battle as many times as I want, as long as I have, as I have the SP to do so. Stun the defensive body. Ah, so it lowers our S. No, I don't think it lowers us. I have no idea what the ball does. I guess this is where you store the P. I don't know. Uh, here, have some more ribs. You digivolve as well. Can you reach? No, you can't. That's okay. No kill. Shame, shame. Thanks. And another one. Okay, let's take down this fella. I don't like how close it is to Agumon. I really don't like how close it was to Agumon. Oh, 
Alright, we have two dogs. That's kinda cool. Okay. Please do lots of damage. Eh, decent. Agumon will just keep on going for now. Okay, you killed the, uh, the last spider. Okay, just do with regular attack as you can. Okay, easy peasy. Wait, how do I get back up? Oh, I need to go all the way there. Okay. Well, that's just annoying. Wait, maybe I can jump here? Maybe I don't have to go all the way back? Please, I don't want to go all the way back. Can you hit the ball thing? No, we can't. Can you hit the ball thing? Nope. And up you go. Oh, there's another box over there. Okay. Oh, lovely. Very lovely. Fun, fun. Dog, can you reach? No. Okay, what about you, little one? Nice! Are you too short to reach? Wait, what if I will digivolve you? Will you be able to reach? Yes! Next question, can you kill? Mm -hmm. No. What the fuck is the deal with the ball? Oh shit. Oh, spiders can assist her. Fuck. Well, first of all, what does the ball do? I need to find out what the ball does. I'm too curious. Okay, what for is this? Yeah. I killed the ball. What did it do? I I'm confused. I'm so confused.
Is it like, will it give me an item? Is it a plot thing? Is it... Mm -hmm. It's a meat. Okay. Please stop ambushing my bird. Okay, can you? I know I don't have your. Okay, okay, okay. Will it heal? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I finally used this function! Okay, let's take the box. What's in the box? Speed break. Okay. Could have been useful before this fight, but sure, whatever. Who am I to complain? Can you stop abusing my bird, please? Let's take care of this spider first. For experience reasons. Okay, you stand here. Yes. You go behind her. Hopefully you'll be able to do some... Oh, that's a nice... That's a nice amount of damage. Sure. Also, then it wasn't too bad. It's, it's okay. It's okay. But I will never say yeah, no to Compensation Melon. We should eat more food uh, anyways. By the way, did you eat as well? I didn't see you eating. Ooh! That was ugly. That was fucking ugly. Can you reach? No. Depends you won't be able to reach with the healing items as well. Fuck. Oh shit. But come on, I know you're small. Okay, you can't really do much. Uh, shit, 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 shit. He eat some ribs. And be a good scapegoat. Come on, come on, come on, Dinosaur. Come on, come on, come on. Kill, kill, kill. Shit, you won't kill. Wait, maybe? No, no kill. Please don't die. Okay, Dinosaur is down. But we will still manage somehow. Can you kill? Thank you! Nice! I just thought that we, al we already got like an evolved Digimon to start the game. to start with Kaito instead of evolving it. How frustrating. Forgot it was holding back. I do not like losing the to, to this breath. She was holding back and she was still that tough? 
she was just toying with us. <laughs> Not exactly, I simply wasn't motivated to fight with all I had. And I had a ceremony all ready to go. Oh, well, after all, I did not be the one to make the offering. Alright, enough of your babbling. What did you do with the girl you kidnapped earlier? Do you really still not get it? I'm under no obligation to tell you anything. I mean, she's not wrong. So even now you're trying to pull that crap. Maybe you haven't felt enough pain. Kaito, I don't think that violence is the answer here. Oh yeah, Aoi? What is the answer? Please enlighten us. Giant spider tried to kill you. What is the answer if not violence? Maybe she isn't telling you because she just doesn't know. What? <laughs> Aren't you a clever one? You're smarter than you look. Kaito is going to punch a spider in the face. Careful Kaito, don't get too close. There is really one reason she would be dragging this out. She's got something up her sleeve. Oh, uh, give this one a prize, but first let me bid you adieu. Adieu? Adios? What? Damn it, she got away again, that monster. Well, you did all you could. No wonder she was so smug, she was sure she could get away. And she did. I wonder if that's why she didn't feel motivated to go all out. Who knows? Maybe there was some reason she had to pretend to put up a fight. Well, we can worry about that later. Let's focus on grabbing the tower for the moment. Okay. Damn, no one got like seven levels. That's that's actually really nice. And we got some carrot, banana, nuts. Is this what's storing the balls? Nuts. I am not proud and not not proud of this joke. Help! Somebody, help! Please! Hmm? I thought I heard a voice just now. You don't think it's the Tarukenimon again, do you? No, they were calling for help. I thought I heard it coming from around here. Well, if it's help they're after, it's help they'll get. Wait, you don't even know who it is. What if they want to make, take advantage of us? Oh, don't be like that. We should help them. Shut up! Nobody asked me. Fuck you, Shuji. What if we made the, them agree not to attack us in exchange for our help? Yeah, but don't stop there, we could tell them to give us all their food too! Floramon is the MVP. Best idea I've heard today. That might as well be robbery. No it doesn't, it's called I give you a service and you pay me your, your for service with food! Hey, I found him! Oh, it's a Tentomon! Help! It, it's Tentomon! We need to worry about him! The poor thing caught in a spider web! Well, let's help him get a free Digimon. We should get him out of there. Agumon, think you can cut through this thread? No problem! Oh, I'm safe. Thank you so much for helping me. Hmm? Well, could you look at that? More human children. How unusual. More? Wait, you have seen others? Right, you are, and not smaller than the one behind you. Could that have been Mio? Was she walking around by herself? Well, she had been captured by the Terfanger Rukenimon, you see. I couldn't help but take pity on the girl, so I rescued her at the first opportunity. Unfortunately, I was then discovered by Rukenimon and taken prisoner myself. <laughs> but what about Miu? What happened to the girl? The girl? Why she ran away? I was right behind her, so there is no doubt about that. She was headed to the shiny place, you see. Okay, great, thanks for telling me and for rescuing Miu in the first place. Oh my, don't even mention it. He seems like a friendly guy. Join us! So, what exactly is this shiny place? 
Well, I'm not sure what this guy, but why not climb up somewhere and see for yourself? Hey, you think you'd be able to see it from the top of the tower? Good thinking. Let's go up and find out. But wait, does he want to join me? He seems very, very friendly. And I want more friendlies. And the radio tower. Not creepy at all. Phew! We finally made it. You know, I should have thought of this sooner, but why is that old cable car walking? There is the power coming from. Who is keeping it running? It doesn't make any sense. It's the same thing with the plumbing at the school. Like, how does any of this work? Who cares? I want to right now is where Mio went. Come on, let's go. They look horrified. Did they find a, a dead body? Wait, what the hell is this? This doesn't make any sense. Mm. Is there a dead body? Why are we surrounded by water? This is supposed to be a mountain range. This is an island? Does that mean we actually got teleported here? This is all getting real crazy, real fast. Your school, the shrine, those buildings are all just... Like I remember. <laughs> but the geography is all wrong. How did this happen? I can't believe this. I feel like I don't know what's what anymore. Everyone, we've got to c c c calm down. Shuji, you seem more upset than anyone. This can't be. It's a shocking sight for us or for all of us, but it must be worse for Kaito, being local. And Ao is actually speechless. What's with the ocean? Why is this an island? Even some of those buildings are wrong. Wow, what's the chain thing? And that looks like a giant ring. Check out that building cover with steel pipes over there. It's an amusement park. At this point, we have to be in some other dimension, don't we? To say the least. Nobody's coming to save us. That's just what we'll have to accept, isn't it? You can't say that for sure. Come on, let's not give up just yet. But, but we... Oh! <laughs> Rio? I knew it. This isn't the real world. Not a chance. This, this is the afterlife. Yeah, that's it. It's gonna be. <laughs> Rio, come on, pull yourself together. We're all dead, all of us. And then, what, what about mommy? Mommy's dead too, of course. Oh, shit. Backstory. That means she's here. I, I knew it was her. She's here for me, calling for me. Rio, you are losing it. Get it together. This isn't the time or place to start panicking. In situations like this, it's important to keep a clear head and act with calm. Shut up! Yes! Fight! Let them fight! Let them fight! Let them fight! Ah, oh, you didn't have to hit me. Well, actually, Rio, I will give you money. To hit him again. More than that, I'm willing to pay 30 bucks for Punch Sh Shuji and Rio DLC. It's a DLC where you just punch Shuji and Rio. I'm willing to pay 30 bucks to do it. You heard me, Bandai? Business opportunity. Rio, where do you think you're going? It's dangerous out there. This is bad. We have to stop him. Hello, cat. How are you doing, buddy? Come here, buddy. What happened? What happened, sweetheart? Yes, I cut your tail. And you fell. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is going to be fine. I get it now. Mommy's here. I'm going to see my mommy. Dude. Mommy? Mommy, it's me. Help me. 
Oh shit! This. Oh shit! Oh, you poor little boy. Yep. You want to see your mommy that badly? Then come right here, you poor baby. Oh yeah, Rio is fucked. Well, okay, bye, Rocco. Uh, you, you are fake. You're not my mommy. You betrayed me. Mommy would never betray me. Never. She would be there to save me, no matter what. You wait. Dude, you need some, some therapy. Ah, uh, no. Don't you see? I'm going to meet my mommy. You got that? Mommy, save me. But have you lost, have you lost your mind compl completely? Even the bad guys are like, dude, dude, what the fuck is wrong with me? Get some therapy. Get some help. Shut up, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to mommy, get lost. Mommy, I've tried so hard for so long, I've been wanting to see you so badly. Come get me mommy, come quickly. My my, what a shame, I do believe this child is broken. Now what to do with him? I suppose I have to perform the ritual and uh, offer him a sacrifice. But what to make him a part of this world? Yeah. I suppose we just have to die. Okay, bye. Oh wait, what, what the fuck is Kunamon? Cyclonmon, come here, would you? Yes, Lady Arukanimon. Kill this boy for me, would you? It should be easy enough, I'll leave it to you. Yes, my lady. Very good. We shall return to the altar then, he is yours. I will kill the boy. Huh? What the? Hey, stop! What's going on? Mommy! Stay still. You're so hard to hold. I mean, did you see your hands? I'm surprised you can hold anything. I'll drop you from here. That will kill you for sure. Whoa, help me, mommy! Shut up! Take this! No way he's alive after that. Also, what the fuck is going on? Mommy, mommy, save me, mommy! Stupid boy. Time to end you. Rio! Mm -hmm. Hmm. What is that thing? A huge one-eyed monster? Um. That is Cyclonmon, a boot concerned only with his own power. That let the size of him scare you? He's a total buffoon. Ik, is Ryo still alright? He's trying to resist, he's still okay. Then we need to save him, fast! I'm scared, but I'll do my best. Kunamon says he wants to save Ryo. We are on it, don't worry, Kunamon, we'll save him. Haru, Ryuki, stay back. This could be dangerous. Okay. Okay. Alright, everybody, let's do this. Can Kunamon digivolve, please? Give my boy some love. So Floramon is a must? Okay. Let's do the thing. I guess you can't reach. No, you can't. Okay, so there's a box here. I guess Florman will be able to reach her. Yeah. 
Um. Ah, Fegmon can eat it, yeah. Fegmon is a tough boy. Saki, we should help too. Yeah, you're right, Florimon. Florimon Digivolves? Hmm, puny little what? You... Me? You are holding back. You only pretend to fight hard. What? No! You do not care about this one, so you pretend. Get lost, you're a nuisance. No, I... I... Saki, keep it together. Do I... Do I really not want to save Ryu? Am I holding the others back? Wait, I also don't want to save Ryo. I only want to save him for Kunamon's sake. I I don't know, I just don't know. Saki, don't let him get to you. I know better than anyone how much you care. Do you really not want to save one of your friends? I don't know, I, I just don't know anymore. I did because it was the good thing to do. I didn't want the others to hate me. But did I really care about Ryo's feelings? I don't know, what was I supposed to do? Saki, it's okay. Floramon? Don't worry, you have an amazing heart. Just do what he tells you. That's all you need to do. What? My heart tells me? Ask yourself, Saki, is it telling you to stop right now? What is my heart telling me? It's it's not telling me to stop. One of my friends is suffering right in front of me. And I'm not about to just sit here and watch. Floramon, lend me your strength. Aha! That's the way, Saki! Ooh, what is she gonna digivolve into? Floramon? Okay, 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 what is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Oh, you look at <laughs> a lot of really cool flower Digimon in the franchise this is not one of them oh my <laughs> Vegemon the strength of your conviction has made me evolve to Vegemon this Digimon looks like a fucking nutsack and now my strength matches what's in your heart Alright, here we go. I hope you're ready for this Cyclone Mon. Yeah, me and Natsek Mon. I know, I know, I'm very mature. I have the mental maturity of a fucking child. But come on, fucking Vegemon. Okay, let's see what Vegemon can do. And it can it can throw shit. No, this this has to be a joke. What is evolution like? Like you have to be a Vegemon. And you have to throw this is amazing. This is amazing. This is the best timeline. This is the best game. 10 out of 10. Best game. Give it all the prizes. Please don't die. Ah, you're fine. Okay, throw poop, I guess. <laughs> Can you hit anything? 
What if I will move you here? Can you hit something now? Yes. Ah, cheap damage is still damage. Thank you. Okay, uh, you heal the fox. Not good. Okay, but at least we can hit, uh, we can throw shit from behind. Which is a flex, I guess. Take the rest of the momentum. Okay, thank you, mod. Much appreciated. Okay, Deltamon, can you. Mm. How much damage do I do this way? Okay. Uh, eat some meat. Oh no, but the veggie one. Damn, this, this is the funniest shit I've seen. No pun intended. Oh, pun intended? I don't know yet. It's, it's just fucking hilarious. Is it dead? 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 Cut it out! This is bad. Second one, second one is super strong. We can't let it stop us. We've got to save Rio. Come on, Aguman, keep it up. Right. Take this. Ah! Wow, second one attack shook the whole bridge. Whoa! come on! Huh? Oh no! How Rio fell? And Haru jumped after him? What the fuck? Rio? Haru? No way, they fell off the bridge. No, Haru! We've got to save them! Time to wrap this up now! Right! At least we got Natsak, Mon. So do you like the game? Yeah! I really like it. Fucking hilarious. I get to bully Ryo and Shuji. What do you think, Mod? Do you like the game? Yeah, I mean it has plot. And it has some interesting characters. And some shitty characters, but uh, it's fun, it's fun. It's a fine game. I recommend to anyone who likes visual novels. Actually, I've seen that people have been review bombing this game on Metacritic because they found out this is a visual novel. Even though the developers have always said that this is a visual novel. So Nightlight has like zeros and threes and twos because people didn't know it's a visual novel. The, the, people are just stupid. People are really, really stupid. Like, they advertised it as 70% visual novel, 30% battles. So, like, what do you expect it to be? Uh, what happened? Oh, right, that monster dropped me and I, I died. Wait, no, I'm alive? But how? I was up so high. Oh, oh it's just you. Oh, don't scare me like that, you miserable little brat. That's the thanks I get for saving you. How we got a point? You save me? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Oh well, whatever. Not that I care about you anyway. What was that? I don't have to take that from some little brat. Uh, 
What the hell is wrong with you? Don't look at me like that. Like I said, I don't care about you. Same. Not at all. Same. You're a monster! Help me, mommy! Uh, you probably shouldn't try to move. You may have not have died, but you are injured. Mommy, save me! Wait, that's right. I got my phone. I can call mommy. Why isn't it working? Why? Uh, I can't call my mommy. Why do you want to return to the real world? Uh, I, I don't belong here. This isn't my world. Takuma and the others all hate me. I know because they all treat me like a dead weight. Because you are dead weight. They are trying to use those monsters of theirs to get rid of me. Oh, is that how it looks to you? That's why I want to go back. Back to my world. Back to my home. But it's okay, any minute now, mommy will call me, and then I'll be saved. Just how long are you going to keep deluding me yourself? You should know better than anyone that your mother is never going to call you. Oof. Yes, that's right. Mommy was always sick. I wanted to spend more time with her, but the doctor said no. I tried so hard, whenever I was lonely, she would tell me to be strong, but... But those, those were her last words. So stay fucking strong, you idiot. Yes, that's right, mommy's dead. Of course she's not going to call, of course not. <laughs> Oof. Yes, now I get it. Now it all makes sense. I've died, and this is the afterlife. Which means must, mommy must be somewhere close by. Nope, just you and a creepy child. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? You're here, aren't you, mommy? Oh, please come get me. This kid is done for. He is completely snapped. Oof. Q! Kunamun! What the fuck did you, came f did you come from? Oh, there you are, but I'm afraid you're too late. Wait, I think I see something. Something in the fog. Yes, it's mommy! I knew she would come for me. Mommy, I'm here! You can see for yourself, your precious Ryu has lost all touch with reality. QQ? You want me to come with you? Okay, wait for me, mommy. I'll be right there. Wait, is Ryu dying now? Ryu, Haru! Here, I found them. They're both okay. Haru. Oh, what a relief. Saki, your face is a mess from all those tears. I'm so glad we found them, though. So. Yes, and now we must uh, make haste. The fog is starting to spread. Uh, uh, call me crazy, but is Ryo running into the fog? What? Uh, mommy, mommy! Ryo, uh, doesn't sound like he's doing too well. Yeah, I thought I heard him laughing. Oh no, guys, this is not looking good. The fog is getting real dense. You're right, this is bad. Ryo, Haru, you're both in danger. Get over here quick. Uh, what's that? Looking to where Aoi is pointing, I see a black shadow. Am I seeing things? It looks like some sort of tentacle came out of the shadow. Oh shit, no, 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 Of course we help Rio. we don't have a choice. Takuma, stop! Aguman, is there anything we can do? Not a thing, uh, that's just how it works. But no! Rio, what's wrong with you? Get out of there! Rio, you need to run! Rio, why? Why don't you run? I think he's saying something. I finally got to see you again, mommy. And now we'll always be together. Please don't leave me again. What? Huh? Oh, fuck! I think Ryo is dead. The fog, it took him. What? 
That's horrible. No way, I can't believe this. No, no. Oh, there's Konamon. I didn't see him there next to Haru. Somehow, in a way that I don't fully understand, I can tell that Konamon, Konamon is sad. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, Konamon too. He's disappearing. It can't be. Konamon is disappearing. Not Kunamon! So wait, is there a way to save Ryo? Wait, hold on. Ryo still has to be the right? No. What? Miyuki? Why is she shaking her head like that? Is she telling me I should give up? Takuma. Haru. What happened to Ryo was he gave up on himself. Was there a way to save him though? Because we had a rather high affinity. So this what consumed him. Was there a way to save them though? Even after the fog lifted and the shadow vanished, there was still no sign of Rio. I'm not really sure what Haru meant by what he told me. But I do know one thing for certain. Rio is dead. Oh god, I have goosebumps. So wait, is there a way to save Rio? Do I really have to play this game with the guide to save everyone? Damn. This is some... This is some... Sh wow. Just wow. Like, I don't have words. To, 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 to discover what I'm feeling. But I do wonder if there is a way to save Rio. After all that, Shuji eventually got us to calm down. We lost the, we lost the bug. We indeed lost the bug. I mean... Damn! It really, really makes me wonder if there was actually something I could have done differently and save Rio because... Again, I had rather high affinity with him. After all, that Chuji eventually got us to calm down and we returned to the school. Leave it to Shuji to step up in a situation like that and get us all back to safety. Kaito was next to recover. He was all ready to go to the amusement park and find Mio. But the rest of us managed to convince him to come back to the school instead. Shuji made the case that we search more effectively after we would regroup. After, and after seeing what happened to Ryo, even Kaito must realize that the, the need for caution. Everyone else was pretty upset and shaken from having witnesses, witnessed Ryo's death. It was dark by the time we got back, and we were exhausted. Nobody bothered with dinner. The others mo mostly seemed to collapse into sleep, though. I found that impossible. My mind kept uh, coming back to the same thought. Surely there must have been something more I could have done. Maybe if we had all worked together, or if I had been more determined, or... I, I don't know. It's no use, I can't think of anything. For one thing, the fog is still a complete mystery. Not to mention the shadow. And more importantly, deep down, somehow, I knew there was nothing I could do. It's starting to get cold. If I stay like that, I'll probably end up getting sick. Even if I can't sleep, maybe I should just lie down for a while. Jesus! I must say, they did handle the death good. They handled the death very well. Overall, I think Digimon knows how to handle, you know, character death and such. Takuma. Takuma. Hmm? Agumon? Takuma, are you alright? You seem kind of out of it. I've been thinking about Rio. Okay. 
there must have been something we could have done to save him. Maybe if we had start with, with if we had started earlier, I knew when he couldn't open up to Kunamon, when he got so scared of the Kugumon, I acted in the classroom on the trail, or even just talking with him. It was clear. I knew he was struggling, but I didn't help him. Excuse me, we did our best. I just let him suffer. What do you think might have changed things, Takuma? I don't know. I wish Ryo had been able to conquer some of his fears. Honestly, yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, I'm not going to go back, because it means I'll have to restart the game, but I'm genuinely curious if Ryo can be saved. If he hadn't been so afraid, if he had had that courage to face up to things, he would have been able to find a place for himself here. But it's not like I've got all the an answers. Who knows if uh, what I did was right, or what I should have done differently. Not me, that's for sure. Takuma, I can tell that you are hurting. You're right, Takuman. I hurt so much. And what's worse is that even after losing Rio, there is no clear way out of this. Or okay, Kenimon is still after that, us. And maybe that amusement park is crawling with enemies. Plus, if we have been transported to some other world, is there even a way back? I don't know, I just don't know. What are we even supposed to do? Takuma! Takuma, listen, I may not know much, but I do know one very important thing. And it's that if you try Takuma, you can do anything. Besides reviving Ryo, this Mopo is dead. Whether you team up with the others or just blindly press on, in the end you'll succeed. <laughs> Where is it coming from? I'm not that special. But you are Takuma, I know it. And I believe in you. Agumon. What a sweetheart. Only preventable new game plus? Okay, good to know, good to know. So, there is repl replayability in the game. Also, it means we can only see Kunamon's digivolution in new game plus and not like in the regular game. It actually makes me want to replay the game again, like after I finish it. This, this is actually very clever. Thanks. The Wait, can we kill Shuji? Thanks, that actually makes me feel better. What do we no, I don't call Hex. It's a, uh, you know, a way to make you wanna replay the game. Like, you can't get a perfect ending in the beginning. If you want to get perfect endings, you need to replay the game as many times as possible. Thanks, that actually makes me feel better. Maybe now I'll be able to get some sleep. Really? Then I'm glad. Good night, Agumon. Good night, Takuma. Good boy, Agumon. He's truly trying his best. But I guess it was kind of obvious Ryo was the first one to go because he started to, you know, lose his mind in a way. Not in a way, he was starting to lose his mind. So I guess it kind of makes sense. Also, you know, you need to move the plot somehow. I did find the human children, but you see, my servants all proved so incompetent. You allow them to escape. Clearly, you lack sufficient devotion to our master. No, it wasn't my fault. I would never. Next time, I'll get them for sure. I'll capture all of those human children and offer them to up to our master without fail. Yet, the altar was prepared. Did you not perform a sacrifice? Have you not only let the children escape, but also failed to provide an offering? Oh well, actually, that wasn't me. Someone must have bitten me to the punch. Yet, you did not confirm who this was, or if indeed they made the sacrifice. I did not. But several children still remain. Next time, they won't be so lucky. If you are not up to this task on your own, I, I could always have Mega Sidramon help you. No doubt, he would be similarly mo motivated to prove his devotion to our master. First, let me try. Excuse me, you are adorable. You are too cute to murder children. Which makes you exactly the right look to kill children. No, I assure you, I'm quite up to the task. I won't be needing any help from Monzemon or Mega Sidramon. Those children will not escape me a second time, you will see. Bah, out of my way. Dear me, how crass. Tell me, Garurumon, what brings an outsider like yourself to speak with us? I heard those traitors who got strong by teaming up with humans have told on us. 
Oh, and what of it? <laughs> Just what I've been waiting for. I'm gonna crush them all. Hmm, but if a brute force will help you accomplish anything, you're such an idiot. Second. What? Are you still up to your old tricks? Refusing to fight your own battles, huh? Spoken like a too simpleton, only a fool would insist uh, to f on fighting their own battles. Bah! You make me sick, every last one of you. Enough of this. Hey, she started it. That gets us nowhere and I see no need for cooperation. Do as you wish. Ha, as if I'd ever do anything else so long. Yes, I am. Uh, Buha sent me a message, so I answered him. Well, what a surprise. He showed up, picks a fight, and leaves. Are you sure we can trust him? His skills are undeniable, and he holds a grudge against human children, that's clear. More importantly, he my words are okay, and our master will not tolerate any more failure. I'm well aware of that. Who do you, who, who do you take me for? So long as you know, there will be no more second chances. Remember, it's not just Monzemon and Megasidramon here. There are countless others who could take your place. If you need help, just ask. You are fucking adorable. Gah, this is so infuriating. How could those little brats do this to me? <laughs> well, alright then. They can just wait and see. Stop, no, not that way. Rio, come back. Rio, Rio. Uh, huff, huff. <sighs> it was just a dream. I woke up from a nightmare this morning, drenched in sweat, my hands still shaking. It's not surprising. I had a lot on my mind last night, and sleep did not come easy. Not after watching Rio die right in front of us yesterday. But beyond the tale of watching someone die for the first time, seeing the strange tentacle reach out and grab him was just awful. Just thinking back on it now sends a shiver down my spine. But I shouldn't let myself dwell on it, not after how Agumon cheered me up last night. Wait, where is Agumon? And everyone else for that matter. Nobody else is in here. Am I the last one up? Then all the more reason to get moving. We need to figure out what comes next. It's not too late, so maybe the others are still in the cafeteria. I'd better go see. Ah, oh, I bet everyone is grieving now. Oh, good morning, Kaito. Drop one. Hmm, finally up, are you? Wow, he seems pretty mad. Has he been waiting for me to wake up this whole time? Sorry I woke up so late, I had a hard time getting to sleep. Yeah, whatever, I'm sure you were exhausted. So where is everybody else? How should I know you're the one, only one who has shown up? Wait, really? I thought for sure they would have all been here by now. Where is everybody? 
all over the place apparently and looking pretty upset. They did see that friend of yours get taken into the fog right in front of them. I'm sure that's bothering all of them as much as it is you. That's a good point. Just that didn't just come as a shock to me. It has to be on everyone's mind. They will need to process what happened. We should probably give them some time. But we don't have any time to give. We need to get out there and save Miu. True, but with that strange fog, everyone is nerv nervous. All the more reason we should move fast. Miu is in trouble. And it's not just the fog. There are monsters after her. That's right. Our Kenimon, that spider monster, said something about sa sacrifice. She was really strong too. If there are lo lots of other things like her out there... Damn it, this is why I wanted to find Miu yesterday. I should never let you ta talk me out of it. No, I never should have taken my ass off her in the first place. Kaito, calm down. Yeah, listen to Takuma. Shut up, don't you tell me to calm down. My sister's life is on the line. Hey, it's not like I forgot, but you getting mad isn't gonna help anything. No, you know what's not gonna help? Arguing while waiting for help. That's not coming. I'm gonna go look for me on my own. Kaito, wait. It's too dangerous for you to go by yourself. We all need to stick together. I agree. God, I love Drakmon. Best boy. I don't want you putting yourself in danger. Drakmon. Alright, fine. That's a relief. We managed to get through for, uh, to him for once. But I'm only waiting around until noon. After that, I'm going. What? I'll wait here till noon, then I'm looking for Miu, no matter what anyone says. I'll go alone if I have to. Man, you can be such an idiot sometimes. You know, I'll be with you if it comes to that. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You, obviously. Who else would be, be I talking about? I love him. I love him so much. You've probably got some stupid idea about not putting anyone else in danger, don't you? Oof, oof, that edgy boy call out. Quit trying to do everything by yourself. What do you think I'm here for? You really feel that way? Alright, sorry about that. Drakman seems genuinely concerned for Kaito. And Kaito does actually seem to listen to Drakman in his own way. It might not look like that, but I think those two are actually pretty close. So, Takuma, I guess this means you'd better round everyone up. I'll need to keep an eye on Kaito to make sure he doesn't take her off early. Got it. I'll get the others. Let's see if I got until noon. Oh no, that's hardly any time. I need to get everyone here quick. Free action! Okay, first of all, we have lots of items to use. Okay, we will give you attack break and we will give you a venom trap. Sure. I'll give you speed break and I'll give you a saint knuckles. I'll give you clover carrot and a crisp carrot. And now Floramon, who got probably the most ridiculous digivolution out of all of them. I'll give you those items. See, so far so good. That's a shame though that one of our buddies died. Really shame. But I mean, you know, how else would you move the story? This that's why it interests me how they're gonna do it in uh, New Game Plus. Like, how can you save him and how will it affect the story if they are never going to experience that? Takuma, last night was awful, wasn't it? Yeah. First the professor and now Ryo. 
we've faced lots of dangers since we came to this world, but for people to actually die, I've reminded once again how much more dangerous this place is than I thought. How are we supposed to get out of here? Now are we supposed how are we supposed to survive? Takuma, are you alright? What oh sorry, I shouldn't uh, get so down after how you cheered me up last night. That's okay. I'm still a little surprised myself. Surprised about what? About Rio. I still can't believe what happened to that human child. If that had happened to you, Takuma, I don't know what what I would have done. You would have died as well, Agumon, just like Kunemon. Yeah, same here. After all, it wasn't just Rio who disappeared. Konemon went with him. I feel bad for Konemon too. Rio never seemed to understand what Konemon was thinking. But I know Konemon was concerned for Rio. Why did it have to end, out, end like that? Now Konemon doesn't even have Rio. Oh, poor baby. Human children are special to Agumon. And the others somehow, right? But even so, the thought of disappearing must be terrifying, if, terrifying even to them. So it makes sense that Agumon would be upset by what happened to Ryo and Kunamon. Well, I'm not going to abandon you, Agumon. Oh, Takuma! What a nice thing to say. Looks like this time it was your turn to cheer me up. Thanks to you, I feel a lot better. Well, I'm glad you, I could at least cheer you up. I'm pretty sure everyone else is still upset. Then I'll just have to fix that. Oh, how? Well, I'm not sure. At least he's willing to help. Is there anything you think I could do? What might Agumon be able to do to cheer people up? Maybe if he went and went and talked to everyone, like we are doing right now. That might help things uh, easier to deal with. Then again, I'm sure they are all in pain. Maybe they would prefer to be left alone. I'm not sure. Let's talk to people. You know, Agumon, you're a surprisingly good listener. Maybe you could talk to everyone. Oh yeah! But I think they've probably all had a conversation like we just did already. Minro has Falcomon, Al has Labromon. And the same goes for everyone else. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Although, I'm a little worried about Shuji and Lopmon. Hey, how about this? Why not do something for the others you would like uh, them to do for you? Oh, good thinking. That gives me an idea. I should go look around at one spot. Hmm? Sounds like he's muttering to himself about something. Be right back, Takuma! Wait, where are you going? Don't worry about it, bye! Okay, bye. Well, if you say so, but be back in the cafeteria by noon, okay? Otherwise, Kaito might go off looking for me on his own. Got it! Okay, bye, Agumon. Okay, let's uh, let's talk uh, to Shuji and uh, Lopmon. This is not going to be a shit show. Agumon, where did he go? I wonder. Hmm, what's this? Sincerity melon. I didn't know melons can be sincere, but okay. Hmm, what's this? Another melon. I got two melons! Okay, Shuji, what do you have to say for us, to us? Ah, this is all my fault. If only I'd been able to keep it together. Shuji. What? Oh, Takuma, sorry. I was just talking to myself. No, I feel like I should be the one to apologize. I didn't mean to scare you. How are you doing? Shuji, you look like you're in so much pain all the time. I'm worried about you. Shut up! What do you know? Not only was I thrown into some strange new world, I watched someone die in front of me. Twice. I'm sorry, I only meant this is exactly the kind of thing the professor trusts me to keep from happening. If I'd had my act together, Rio would still be here. I've completely failed the professor. Shuji, I can see why you would feel that way, but you should blame yourself. What happened to the two of them wasn't your fault. No, it is my fault. I'm the oldest, the one who is supposed to be the leader. It was my job to keep everyone safe. How am I supposed to apologize to Rio's parents? He really feels like he's responsible for what happened. But it's not like he's solely to blame for it. None of it was his fault. I'll apologize too. 
Well, I'm not sure what you should say, but I'll be there to apologize with you. After all, when it comes to what happened to Adrio, I'm at least as responsible as you are. Oh, I'm befriending the asshole. Thanks, but you shouldn't have to feel that way. I really am a terrible re leader, aren't I? No, you're not. You're doing the best you can, and I think that's what counts. Well, who asked you? Fuck you, Shuji. I hope you die next. Anyway, sorry, why would you mind... But would you mind giving me a little more time on my own? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I could use some time to think. Alright. Shuji. Shuji is not taking this well, and his own strong sense of responsibility isn't helping. Maybe it's best if I just leave him alone for a while. Yep. It'll be fine, asshole. Okay. I got some more items, so... Here, have some sincere melons. You also have a sincere melon. Can you digivolve? No. Okay, classroom. I guess Agumon isn't here. Okay, let's start with Aoi. <sighs> I couldn't stop them. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done. But I could tell. I knew there was something wrong with Ryo. Oh, why couldn't I help him? Sounds like Aoi is blaming herself. Yeah, you know how seriously he takes things. She regrets not doing more. She has been crying all morning. It's been hard to watch. She feels guilty about what happened to Rio, probably because she's so responsible. I think Labramon's probably right, the, right that there was nothing she could have done. But I can also understand how I could feel regret at not being able to do more. Oof. Let's just say we're all responsible. It wasn't just you, I. We all could have done more to help support Rio. I mean, I couldn't do anything either. Well, that helped. Takuma. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. After all, even I didn't realize Rio was just that far gone. So there is no reason for you to take all the blame, Aoi. Takuma, uh, Saki, uh, I... Aoi, please, stop crying like that. It's just, you're both being so thoughtful while I... I've only been thinking about myself. Please, Aoi, cheer up. I'm the worst. What should I do? I don't know how to comfort her. And if I can get everyone to the cafeteria so that Kaito could go off on his own. Man, I don't know what to do. Some good you are at making people feel better. I will still want to stop crying. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't think of the right thing to say. Well, I doubt there is anything you could say that would get through to her right now. What makes you say that? Because I don't think I was looking for someone to say the right thing. Well said. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Is this a girl thing or is Saki speaking from her own experience? Either way, Saki sure does know a lot of consideration for someone so free-spirited. Okay, it's either one of those two. Uh, I'll say you're so considerate. I don't think you cared uh, what other people thought, but you sure pay close attention. You think so? I feel like this is pretty normal. I don't know. Look at how you're thinking of Aoi, even after everything that happened. Yeah, he's right. Maybe it's just when I see someone who is sad, it helps me realize I need to stay calm. If you say so. Yes, I'll get here with Aoi. Stay here with Aoi. Let me handle this. Number one and I will be here too. Oh, okay. It's alright, Aoi. Dry those tears. Saki, I... Yeah, I'm all here for that uh, sisterhood. It wasn't your fault, Aoi. You didn't do anything wrong. But there was nothing anyone could have done back there. I wanted to help too. We all did. It's nice that the girls can comfort each other like that. I'm really glad Saki is here right now. Okay, let's talk to Saki. 
one night just isn't enough to put something like that behind is you, is it? Yeah, I'm still pretty upset about the whole thing too. We all watched as one of us disappeared. The shock of that moment was unbelievable. Greer was a pretty twisted guy. He was always really grumpy, insulting and uncooperative. But that doesn't make it okay that he's gone. Besides, I knew what his real problem was. He never knew how to express himself. I guess that side of him kind of reminded me of myself. That's why I stuck by him. I never understood why Saki, who is so cheerful and outgoing, was always with Rio. But I think I get it now. She must have felt like they were uh, two sides of the same coin. Not that I could ever see it. He was always so lonely. That's why he acted the way he did. That's right. People can be like that, can they? You could say two Floramon. You could say two Floramon. Nope, not at all. What? But I know that you are really nice, Saki. I know that better than anyone. Nice, huh? Is that what you think, took Takuma? Saki seems nice enough to me, but she can be pretty blunt sometimes. Besides, I feel like I still don't know her all that well. I think you're nice. I think you're nice. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you're nice enough. Huh? What kind of no answer is that? I will have you know that Saki is very nice. Yeah, sure, but I don't know. I feel like there is more to it than that. Hmm, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm not sure how best to say it. Like, you could clearly understand Rio really well. It's like you said before, you must not come out and say it, but you care about people. Huh? So that's how you feel about me. Good! I'm kinda happy about that. Thanks, Takuma. Uh, uh, sure. Oh, Takuma, your face is turning red. You're feeling shy, maybe a little nervous. No! Why would I be nervous? You know, I think talking with you helped me make, me make me feel a little better. Thanks, Takuma. Yeah, try to touch her throat and she will bite your hand off. Uh, yeah, sounds about right. Nah, she just goes to sniffle. She'll be fine. Guess Akumon isn't here. Oh, baby. Lopmon, what happened? Hey, Lopmon, you're on your own? Shuji told me to get lost. No! Oh, sounds like you've got uh, things pretty rough, too. Oh, those eyes. The baby. I, I only ever seem to get in Shuji's way. Yeah, it seems like Shuji still hasn't really accepted Lopmon. I hope Shuji starts to open up to you soon. Me too. I'll keep trying to find a way to make it so we get along, like you and Agumon. Sounds good. I'll be rooting for you. Oh, but that reminds me. Agumon went off somewhere earlier, and he hasn't come back. Do you know where he went? I'm pretty sure Agumon was headed for the shrine. The shrine? Why would he go there? I'm not sure. Shuji is going to get bitch slapped. We know just from the trailers that Shuji just gets abusive with Lopmon. Like, Jerry gets abusive with Lopmon. So, you know? Poor fella. I wonder if it's got something to do with the that he was muttering to himself about. Uh, okay, let's go to the shrine. No, go to area. Yep. If anyone has seen the trailers, uh, Shuji is fucking abusive towards Lopmon because Lopmon is not quite what he wanted the Digimon to be. Man, I should have come a long way looking for Agumon. I doubt he's a. Yeah, he'd have gone much farther than this. Hmm? I think I hear something. <laughs> Let's see, what is he doing humming to himself out there? Hey, Agumon. Wah! Hey, Takuma, it's just you. You startled me. Huh? Sorry. But what are you doing here? Ta-da! Take a look at this. Meat! Well, I was thinking of what might cheer people up, and this is all the stuff I found. Where did you find that meat, Agumon? Wait, is that what why you went running off? That's right, remember what you told me? You said to cheer people up, I should do something for them, I would like them for me. Uh, so I've been collecting stuff I thought would make them feel better. 
Oh, sounds like in his own way, Agumon was being really thoughtful. Thanks, Agumon. I'm sure everyone will love what you have found. I hope so. That would make me really, really happy. What a sweetheart. Mushroom. Hmm? And an acorn. Okay, you can take the mushroom and the acorn. Let's talk to Floramon. Is that Floramon? What is she doing by herself? What are you doing here? Oh, hi Takuma. Can you feel that? Feel what? Over there. Hmm? Isn't there where the shrine is? I think so. I'm not really sure, but I think there is something over there. I can feel it. It's some sort of strange power. I wonder what it could be. I wouldn't know. Why is really bothering me? A flowerman and the others sensing something as humans can't? Anyways, what brings you here, Takuma? Oh, well, Kaito asked me to get everyone together. He says if we are not all in the cafeteria by noon, he will go look for Mio by himself. So, I'm sure everyone is still shaken after what happened with Rio and Kunemon, but... Yeah, I see what you're saying. We should start looking for Mio after all. I can understand how Kaito must feel. We can not just sit here and stew. I need to pull myself together too. Really, you seem like you're in pretty good shape to me. But I could be doing better. I need to be doing better. Or I'm worried I won't be able to protect Saki. Oh... Saki like that. Saki is like that too. She may have may seem well put together, but sometimes I get very worried. You pay close attention with you looking out for her. I'm sure she'll be fine. Really? Well, if that's what you think, Takuma, maybe things will be all right. Thanks for listening to me, Takuma. Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help you out. All right, see you later then. I like that we can kind of bond with the other Digimon, and not just with you know the people and Agumon. But also, I'm kind of curious. I had the highest affinity with Rio. Um, I had the highest affinity of Rio compared to the rest of my friends. So it's really upsetting to me that he mm, died like that. I don't know. It just feels kind of weird. But sure, whatever. Let's go to the corridor. Yep, yep. I mean, I guess they had to show us her death somehow. Ah, Agumon is here as well. Let's talk to Labramon first. Hi, Labramon. What are you doing uh, all by yourself? Yeah, I'm surprised I isn't here with you. Sometimes we like to do things on our own too. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I prefer to stay with Takuma. You go off on your own sometimes too, Agumon. Yeah, well, it's complicated. Actually, not really. Anyway, were you looking for Aoi, or did you just want to talk to me? Actually, I'm trying to get everyone together. Kato is upset that nobody's shown up in the cafeteria. He says if people do, aren't there, by noon he will go look for Mio on his own. And he seems pretty anxious about it. Oh, okay, got it. I'll be sure to be by the cafe in the cafeteria by noon. See you then! Okay, next we have, we talked to them already. Do you have anything interesting to add to the conversation? It's like Doki Doki to make your decision feels more weaker. I, I'll say it like that. 
It really depends on what they want to do with the decisions. It really depends on where they are going want to go with the decisions. Like yes, they need we need the one scapegoat to die to show like the stakes of the game. We needed a scapegoat. Rio was an easy scapegoat because they wrote him to be an easy scapegoat. He was very unlikable. I don't think I've seen anyone on the internet defending Rio. And if there are, they're very far. And most people dislike Rio because of his relationship with Kunamon and not because of his like traumatic past. So he was easily dislikable even though he has a story uh, behind him. Um, you know, so it was easy to get rid of him. I think what they're gonna do with Shuji on the other end is also very easy, dislikable, but they're gonna try to make him like a more complex character than Ryo. It feels like he's going the more complex route of like, you know, of his own trauma. Um, so Ryo was just an easy scapegoat. He, they won't even kill Minoru, he's pretty much your best friend archetype. Ao is like your also the girlfriend, the Hermione of the group, the you know the, 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 the female friend. Saki Saki is just like was written to be liked by everyone in a way. Uh, Kaito also like Kaito and Mio they wouldn't kill them. They feel too important to the story itself. Shuji again they wanted to, to make probably more something like Ryo but more complex. Ryo was just easy. Ryo was just easy to kill. That's Miyuki and Haru. Should I talk to them? Hmm, everyone seems restless. Restless. Don't worry, Miyuki. I'll always be with you. With you. So, that's where this two went. I wonder, what? Should I say something? Both Haru and Miyuki are kind of, uh, of hard to talk to sometimes. Although it is nice to see them getting along so well. Huh? Miyuki, the song. Hey, Takuma, did you hear that? It sounded like Miyuki was thinking something. Yeah, it did. It was too quiet for me to really make it out, but I heard something. Never mind. Or was I imagining it? Hmm. How does it seem so happy? Does he? No, if anything, he looks really sad. You think so? Then let's go cheer him up. No, wait, Agumon! Haru! Miyuki! Oh, Takuma, Agumon, how long have you been here? Been there? Not too long. Sorry, we didn't mean to eavesdrop or anything. You heard that? Heard what? He's asking about the song, isn't he? Maybe we weren't supposed to hear it. Should I be honest about this or pretend uh, to not have noticed? Then again, I'm worried about Miyuki. Maybe I should turn the question back on them. No, I'll just do this. Hmm? Heard what? Never mind. If you didn't hear it, uh, that's fine. He seems a little relieved. I guess he didn't want us to, hear, to have heard anything. Hey, Takuma, why did you lie? You said you heard Miyuki singing, so just shut up! You heard that, what Haru said, right? Let's just pretend we didn't hear anything for now. Are you sure? I guess if you say so. Hold on to this, Takuma. I'm sure it will be of some use to you. Oh, thank you. Anti-fire crystal. We'll give it to a um, Digimon that is weak against fire. Alright, we're going to see how everyone else is doing. But we should talk about the search for Mew. Can you two be in the cafeteria by noon? Me and my sister? Yeah, Kato is waiting for everyone uh, to get together. And I would have to leave you two out. Okay. Okay, all right, see you then. Let's see who can we give the crystal to. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, you need, you need help. Mm, yeah, you can take the anti fire. And you can take the stamina crystal for now. Yeah.
I can talk to Lopmon again? Okay, that's interesting. You and Nagumon get along so well. Takuma, I'm so jealous. That's it? Okay, that was a waste of a point. Okay, let's talk to Minoru and uh, Falcomon. Is this Minoru? Maybe I should talk to him. Oh, uh, hey Takuma, what's up? I'm going around checking in on people since nobody came to the cafeteria this morning. Kaito's pretty worked up. He's talking about going to look for me on his own. I see, then it should... D it sounds like this is no time for us to remain idle. Yeah, Kaito can get pretty fixated on things, can't he? Especially when they involve his sister. Yeah, who would have uh, thought a tough guy like him would have such a soft spot for his sister? Well, this is a nice surprise. It seems like Minoru is holding up better than I thought. By the way, Takuma, what sort of comics do you like? What? Where, the, where is this coming from? I do not believe now is an appropriate time for such conversation. Oh, come on, relax. Besides, there are some things I want to ask because of this situation. I don't really get why he's asking me this, but let me see. Not exactly big into comics, mostly just your typical hero stuff. I do enjoy occasional romantic comedy too, but I bet Minoru would tease me about that. Oh, Takuma has a soft spot. Well, I will read anything if uh, I think it's interesting, but I'm mostly into superheroes. Yeah, I knew it. Superhero comics are the best, right? When we make it back to our own world, I've got tons of recommendations for you. So, I've got some favorites I've been reading forever. I can never wait for the next issue. Man, I can't wait to find out what happens next. Hmm? Is it just me or does Minoru seem like he's acting a little forced? Anyway, the hero is just the coolest. Like, of all the heroes I know, it's not even close. When I read it, I think about how I want to be like that. I'm not even joking. Minoru, please. Come on, Falcon, let him speak. Alright, you don't really know what we're talking about, do you, Falcon? Sorry. Man, if only there were comics in this world too, and, and that's a shame. Do not push yourself too hard, Minoru. What? What do you mean? It, it is plain to see your heart is not truly in this conversation. No way, don't be ridiculous. <sighs> I thought so, he's been putting on an act. Minoru, you seem pretty down. I guess I couldn't fool you, but you know, it's not just me, it's everyone. Everyone is in a bad mood after your disappearance yesterday. And I guess Minoru is no exception. Why couldn't I do anything? Minoru. It's not like Ryo and I even got along all that well. He was kind of a loser, really. But I'm still not thrilled that he's gone. Minoru, calm down. And it sucks because I knew he was struggling. He had been since uh, we came here. Why did I just keep ignoring him right up to the end? Yeah, I've been asking myself that too. And I didn't just ignore him. I kept teasing and insulting him, even though he was older. <laughs> I'm the worst. It wasn't your fault, Minoru. You shouldn't blame yourself so much. You don't have to try to comfort me. I know what I did was awful. I don't think I ever treated Rio right. It's hard to believe Minoru could get this de 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 depressed. It's not different from usual. I guess it's in his own way. He has been thinking a lot about Rio. Falcomon, I think we should give Minoru some space right now. I concur. Yet, believe as long as Minoru can reflect on his actions in his way, his heart is in his right place. Yeah, I guess. Well, I kinda wanna talk to Kaito before we're gone. With the last of uh, our talking energy. Hello, Kaito. Oh, hey, Kaito. What are you doing over there? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to intrude on you guys or anything. Hey, come on. You're one of us now. No need to hang back. If only I'd seen through her disguise sooner, things wouldn't have ended like that. It's not like it was all your fault. Everyone else got tricked too. None of us blame you, Kaito. Well, I still feel bad about it, okay? I've been acting so selfishly this whole time, only thinking for myself. 
but I only did it because I thought I would be the one to pay the price. I couldn't do anything back there, even though it was me who got Ryo into that mess. I'll never forgive myself. No, Kato, it wasn't your fault. There was nothing anyone could, do, could have done. That's right. It was out of our hands. Still wanted to apologize. I feel like there was more I could have done. So sorry. I've always considered Kaito brash and thoughtless, but really, he's a good guy. With a strong sense of what's right. Surprising, uh, honestly. Honestly, and even common sense. You know, Kaito, you're actually a good guy. Hmm? What's this now? Well, you thought something was wrong and you apologized, right? And when it comes down to it, you're concerned about what happened to us. So I figured you, you must be alright. No, I don't know. I just don't want anyone else getting caught up in my problems. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You're such a liar. Anyway, enough about me. You sure the others are gonna show up because I'm not waiting past noon? Okay, I got it already. Man, I shouldn't even be wasting time talking like this. Oh, huh? now he's angry? Why? <laughs> I'm sure it's just a cover and he's really feeling embarrassed. What a liar. Hey, I can hear you. And I'm serious about not wasting time. We got an enemy monsters and weird fog out there. Yeah, he's right. We've got no end uh, of things uh, to be concerned about right now. Oh yeah, that reminds me. What were those creepy hands that came out of the fog? That's been bugging me too. Drakmon, do you or any uh, of the others know anything? Hmm, I'm not really sure myself. You don't know? Sorry. Well, that's okay. You were trying to cheer me up by uh, the only way you knew how. Thanks. Whatever else is true, Kaito and Drakmon make a good team. But for real, man, the heck is this? I can get some whack-ass text, but I can't send anything back to anyone. You too, huh, Kaito? You mean it's not uh, the only one? Yep, everyone else too. We were thinking of heading to the radio tower, actually. What, and leave Mio all by her lonesome? <laughs> we gotta hurry up and save her. Wow, man, you said you, you would wait around until noon, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's go and save the mascot child! Everyone's probably in the cafeteria by now. I should head back. Oh good, you're all here. Well now, how could we say no? You seem so desperate. You all want to talk? You are a bundle of nerves until the just now. Hey, you promised not to mention that. Minoru was pretty upset before. Looks like he's in a better shape now. Not to mention the others. Sorry to make you worry about me all the time, Takuma. I'm feeling better now. Yeah, you really bounced back. Good, I'm glad to hear it. I'm sure it was because of you, Takuma. Haru, Miyuki, thanks for coming too. Sure. Sure. So about us going to rescue Miyu. Right, let me just start by saying something. I really didn't want to get all, uh, you all involved in this, but thanks. What? Well, did you guys hear that? I think Kaito actually showed some appreciation just now. Minoru, no need to be so sarcastic. That's right, Kaito was just being sincere, no need to make fun of him for that. Minoru can take anything seriously, can he? What? Don't you get it? I'm just trying to lighten the mood. Yeah, and everyone is really upset right now. So, sometimes Minoru can get too far. Listen, Kaito, you don't have to do any reason to feel like you're dragging us into this. Yeah, we all want to rescue Miu anyways. If anything, I think we owe you an apology. We all knew you were anxious to start looking for Mew. Sorry we took so long. No, it's cool. After what happened yesterday, I get it. Anyway, will you help me out? You bet. Hey, not so fast. Look, given the situation, I had to bring this up, but are you serious about this? Shuji? What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what it sounds like. You know how dangerous it is out there? Remember the enemy monster, the strange fog? What's to say Mio hasn't already wound up like Rio? Shuji, how can you even say that? I, I'm just trying to look at this objectively. So just saying Mio objectively doomed? How dare you? Yeah, Kaito, punch him in the face! Hey, no need to get to <laughs> for this to get violent. Don't forget we've got little kids here. I'm scared. Scared. Sorry. Still, you can punch Shuji in the face. Nobody's gonna complain about that. But you, what you're saying is the one thing I will not accept. I, I have responsibility, responsibility for the lives of everyone here. I'm the leader. It's up to me to weigh the options and make the most prudent decision. 
Don't give me that. You're just looking for an excuse to cover for your own cowardice. Oof. Kaito, stop. That's enough. I am not a coward. Maybe a hothead like you can see it, but as the oldest one here, I have a responsibility. Shoji, please, you should stop too. Shut up! Not another word from you. <gasps> Kaito, punch him in the face. Kaito, use punch attack. Should you please try to not get so worked up? Kaito has his own responsibility. He's me as older brother. That's why he's so desperate. I... I hadn't thought of that. Did you think of anything, you fucking idiot? Huh. As if a Spanish script like you could even understand how you feel. Ooh. You have no idea how much responsibility goes into being a big brother. So now you're calling me irresponsible? Oh, we're never go going to get anywhere if this keeps up. I don't like it when everybody fights like this. Yeah, me neither. I know I should stop the argument before it goes much longer, but how? Should I decide with Kaito, respect his opinion? Or try to enlist help from somebody else? Ooh, uh, I am going with everybody else. Also, I like that, like. They don't go like the easy anime route of like, let's all agree with everyone and everything, and like we have our fights. And the, like, like, like the characters are different, they have their fights, they have their points, they have their perspectives. I can really appreciate it, besides being like friendship, power, togetherness, and all that. Uh, I'll try. Uh, fuck. Fuck Shuji, I'll never agree with Shuji unless I have to. So I will... Um, I I'll try to enlist help. Hey, Minoru, say something. What, me? Alright, uh, what do you say we take a vote? A vote? I don't know. People's lives are on the line here. <laughs> Just kidding. Minoru... I mean, I don't know what to say. Anyway, uh, why don't we split up? Then one group can search while the other stays here. I don't like that. If we're going to look for Mio, we should all go. How are you all against my ideas? Why did you even ask me for my opinion then, Takuma? Sorry! Forget it, I know I asked you for help, but it's not worth all this trouble. So long, I'm out, I'm out of here. Stop going off on your own! Out of my way! Punch him in the face! Shuji, cry to both of you, enough! What? A Aoi? Wow, she should shut them up. Yes, that was quite impressive. I didn't realize Aoi could get so loud. What's the point of you uh, to fighting like this? We're wasting time. Kaito, is fighting with Shuji going to help rescue Mew? Well, no, but... Shuji, you keep talking about how dangerous it is, but do you never intend to leave? I didn't say that. You implied that. Obviously, we need to find Mew. But we also need to try and find a way home. At least, that's what I think. Hmm? Why did I get so quiet all of a sudden? Huh. She was really picking up steam there, but then I guess she got self-conscious. You've got nothing to be ashamed of, Aoi. That was incredible just now. Oh, uh, no. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so carried away. No, uh, you're right. I I'm sorry. Me too. Sorry. I kind of lost it. Well, sounds like we're all agreed. We're going to rescue me, you! Uh, Minoru, who gave you the final say? What? Somebody had to say it, right? So, where do we go? I think yesterday we decided to check the amusement park. Right, according to the Tentomon guy, after Mio got away from Arukenimon, that's where she was headed. Tentomon was the one who said it was the shiny place, right? The shiny place sounds lovely! But are we sure that's where she went? Not a doubt in my mind. She always loved the amusement parks. So if she suddenly realized the one was here, she would head straight for it. And then there was the giant ring in the shiny place, it looked really cool! Besides, everybody knows kids are crazy about amusement parks. I think you both like them too, right, Haru? Miyuki? I don't know. Don't know. What, you've got to be kidding me. They don't know? Does that mean they've never been to an amusement park? Well, it sounds like she's probably at the amusement park. We'd better get going. Bye, everyone. Good luck. Oh no, I don't think so. You're both coming with us. Again? Why? Because we can just leave you two on your own, knowing that there are monsters kidnapping children. Isn't that right, everyone? Yeah, no objections from me. Me neither. Uh, okay. Yeah, kinda, kinda. Okay. 
but do we know the way to the amusement park? We said from the radio tower yesterday, finding it won't be a problem. I am pretty sure there is a path through the forest that leads uh, in the direction. Right, so we just gotta get through the forest. I'll take point. You guys stay close. Uh, what is he saying about? Actually, that reminds me, he was acting kind of weird yesterday. Hey, Haru. What? About yesterday, uh, what happened exactly? Vic is uh, always kind of strange, but sometimes Haru just seems off. Like he'll suddenly say something mature uh, or act like he's been uh, through things. I'm not really sure, sorry. Uh, okay, sorry if I bothered you. Is he not aware of him himself? Hey, Takuma, Haru, Miyuki, hurry up or you'll get left behind. Oh yeah, wait up. Come on, you two, we need to hurry. Miyuki, let's go. Go. Man, I feel like we've been walking forever, but and still we are not at the amusement park. It looked a lot closer from uh, up on the, the tower yesterday. Yeah, are we sure this is even the right way? You think I don't know where I'm going? Hey, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying we could have gotten lost. Is it difficult to maintain your sense of direction in the forest? Mm, do you want me to see if there is another way? If you try it and get lost, we'll be in twice as much trouble. Oh, yeah. Phew, this is too much. I'm really starting to get tired. Saki, are you alright? Should we stop to rest? We don't uh, got time to rest. We gotta keep moving. Yeah, the sun will get set before we're out of the forest at this rate. Sorry, my sister and I can't walk very fast. Sorry. It's not your fault. I think we're all a bit tired. You can say that again. Kaito, Drakmon, try to be more considerate. Sorry. Well, we gotta keep moving, don't we? Takuma, are you sure we should keep going like this? Actually, I'm starting to get a little worried about that myself. Should we keep on like this or try to find another way? Or do we just turn back? Mm. Let's try to find another way. We could turn back and try to find another way. No, I don't think that's a good idea. If we start trying to go every which way, that just makes us more likely to get lost. But our thing is better if we keep pressing on and never get to the amusement park. Nah, we're going the right way. What makes you so sure? Instinct. Okay. You know how impressed you can say that with a straight face? Hey, standing around arguing like this is going to wear us out more. We should keep moving, just at a slower pace. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, boss. Whatever it is, is is pretty irritated. Try not to antagonize him too much. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Also, we're not antagonizing Shuji, he did it to himself. Well, we finally made it out of the forest, but... Would you look at that? There is still no sign of an amusement park. I don't think I've ever been here before. I wonder if there is any neat stuff around. Okay, listen, I don't think I can keep this up for much longer. Saki, you don't look so good. Hold on, on to me, Saki. I think maybe we would better take a break. Yes, considering that we may still have a way to go, a short rest seems unavoidable. Try telling that to those two. Shuji and Kaito are both pressing on with no sense of slowing down. I can understand why Kaito would be in a hurry, but why Shuji? Shuji, my legs are sore. Just shut up and keep walking. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Lopmon, you have three horns, okay? It's three horns more than Shuji has. Just fucking stab him in the ass a couple of times until he fucking chills. Shuji, no need to be so harsh. Yeah, she's right. Besides, we're all pretty wiped out. Well, I hadn't planned on resting until we had reached the amusement park, but maybe... That's like even Shuji is starting to waver. Should we stop for a break or press on? I could kind of... Uh, I would kind of like to look around here.
Yeah, I think we should stop for a rest. This might be for the best. Huh? I wasn't expecting to hear that from you, Kaito. Well, just look over there. Hmm? Miyuki just fucking fell asleep. She doesn't give a shit. Miyuki is like goals. Like, I don't give a shit. I do whatever the fuck I want. I will fall asleep now. And you can do shit about it. Miyuki, you fell asleep? Yeah, she's out like a light. I guess it's pretty hard to argue with that. Yeah. Fine, alright, let's stop for a break. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sign of that fog nearby. Yeah, I don't sense anything scary like that. No complaints, Kaito? Nah. Finally! I'm so tired! <sighs> same, Saki, same. Saki, are you alright? Miyuki, Haru, would you like to rest uh, here with us too? Sure. She is asleep. Like, she doesn't listen to us anymore. Oh, did that wake them up? Nah, I think they were just walking with their eyes closed. Guess we really wore them out. It was perhaps too harsh of a journey for a two you uh, so young. Maybe, but it's not like we could have left them behind. Speaking of harsh, there's something else I'm worried about too. You mean Lopmon? Mm, I'm sorry, Shuji. I won't up slowing you down again. Just shut up and get some rest. We won't be stopping again until we get to the park. Okay. Oh, Lopmon. Poor baby. Man, sounds like he's still going to have it rough between here and the amusement park. But anyways, I would better get some rest. Fuck Shuji. I know they're on a break, but maybe I should talk to them. Well, let's see if there are any interesting items, though. I'm kinda curious. Uh, anyways, since there are no, no interesting uh, free battles, I think I should call it a stream because I myself am getting sleepy as well. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you, computer, for not dying on us. Really appreciate it. And, uh, time for a little uh, budget sleep. Uh, <laughs> um, yum, yum. Yeah, I'm I'm a tired badger. Very tired badger. <laughs> Good night, mod. Good night, everyone. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you for looking with me at how stupid our friends are. Good night. Yum 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 yum. Good night, and uh, see you next time. I think I might stream the game in the middle of the week as well and not just on weekends because uh, I'm I'm really into it I'm really 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 into it more than I thought I would be uh, but now it's just sleepy time for Baja good night bye bye